Hi, Steve, WichitaFix.com. What we're doing today is we're going to texture a ceiling. It's spray texture. It's uh, what they call popcorn, or I like to call it cottage cheese effect. And this particular house, these ceilings have, have actual wallpaper on the ceilings. Then they have a texture over that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this over that. But the first thing we need to do is tape everything off, put hang tape, plastic, seal everything up, and then we're going to go ahead and seal it and then spray the texture. I'll show you step by step on how to do it, what's involved, how to mix the texture, what kind of sealer to use, uh, everything involved. So stay tuned. Okay, this is the tape you want to use. It's a double stick tape. So when you stick it on your wall, this sticks. And then what you want to do is you want to pull the paper off and that makes this side sticky. So what we're going to do is we're going to place this on the wall pull the paper off and then this side will be sticky and we'll go ahead and hang our plastic on this side. This is about the most common kind of plastic. It's Husky. It's painter's plastic. It's 0.31 mil. It's very, very thin. It's nine feet width. So this is eight foot ceiling. So it's a foot longer than the ceiling is high and it comes on a roll of 400 feet. So when you stick it to the plastic, it's going to drape to the floor. Anything's going to hit off the plastic and go onto the drop cloths, then you clean up the drop cloths and it leaves nothing on the floor. About the best plastic to get, most of the uh, Lowe's, Home Depot carry, carry this particular plastic, so it's pretty easy to. This is the mess on the ceiling we're trying to cover up. I don't know if you can see very good that it has texture, you got some wallpaper seams. And they're just just old dingy ceilings and here we're hanging the double stick tape and, and just simply put it up stick it to the wall like this And then you take off the paper and you may not be able to see it on the video but we have gone all the way around the room now so there's double stick tape all the way around the room we went all the way around the room so when we start spraying the ceiling and sealing the ceiling the only place anything's going to go is right on the right on the ceiling. I'll hang the plastic next. We have drop cloths on the floor. Now we'll hang the plastic. Then the way I do it, I'll just take the plastic out and I'll unroll. You know, clear down one side of the room. And you don't want to unfold the plastic until you actually hang it up. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to go start hanging this plastic. Well, all you need to do is you want to get just the, the, the one edge and hang it right here on this, on this tape. And just run it down the wall like that make sure it's stuck. And then just leave this up like this until you get all the way around and come along and pull it all down. I'm just going to do that all the way around the room. Now you can see I got plastic hung all the way around the ceiling on the wall. So it hides any furniture well, like that lamp. But you can see there's plastic all the way around this room. Now the next thing we're going to do is get out the sealer and start sealing. What you're looking at here is an airless spray gun. If you have jobs that aren't too big, you don't really need it. You can roll on sealer. 
but I, I prefer to use this when the job's a little bit bigger than I really care to roll at the time. So I'm using that on this particular situation. And this is Zinzer Sealer. It's called uh, stain block or cover stain. If you have older ceilings that have a problem with uh, maybe water stains or any kind of smoke from cigarette smoking, this here is the sealer you want to use. It will not bleed through. This is my 3M charcoal mask. Now when you're working with sealer like, like that Zenzer or Kills or any of them, you definitely want to use a charcoal mask. This, this prevents odor as well as any of the damaging whatever that can get in your lungs. But if you use this, you will not smell that sealer. And uh, that sealer smells pretty bad but it's a must over uh, existing ceilings. This is an example of spraying sealer. And as you can see, that's a whole lot better than rolling. Now that I have everything sealed, there's a couple of troubled spots where you've got a little bit of a low spot here. And you can see where there's an old patch. Sorry I have my mask on, but it stinks really bad in here. But now's the time I'm going to try to fix these so you can't see this patch nearly as bad. One here, a little bit here, and then there's a square right here. Make sure your sealer is dry before you do this so you don't pull the sealer otherwise you'll leave a yellow streak once you get the texture on the ceiling from where the sealer was not Once I get this topped with some mud on it, I'm going to take a rag and just touch it a little bit, put a little bit of texture on it so it matches the old ceiling. So when I spray over it, it'll all look the same. So now I have this old sponge. I'm just going to take this and just blot it. And all this is going to do is put a little bit of texture up there. So when we spray the other texture up there, it's not being sprayed over a flat, smooth surface. Just need to rough it up a little bit so after we spray the texture on, it'll blend in with the other ceiling. Our only goal at this time was to rough up that mud a little bit. So when we spray that other texture on there, it kind of has a texture on it to begin with, like the rest of the ceiling. Doesn't matter if it's exactly the same, it just needs to be roughed up, not a smooth surface. This is the compressor I use when I uh, spray ceilings. It's nothing special, I just have it mounted in my van so I don't have to move it in and out to spray ceilings. And what you want to do is have your compressor set on about 75 pounds of pressure. It's not too much, it's, it's just enough to where it can can blow out the texture the way it needs to be, spread it out the way it needs to be without, if your pr pressure is too low when you go to spray ceilings, it'll come out in lumps even though the texture is not lumpy. It just kind of blurps it out. So you need at least 75 pounds. 
if your compressor can't maintain 75 pounds, uh, get a compressor that can maintain 75 pounds. Otherwise, you're going to have a mess on your ceilings. Those little small pancake compressors and the little two and three gallon compressors are not enough to do it. Okay, now here what we're looking at is Freeman mud, and then we have Sheetrock brand mud. Sheetrock seems to be pretty good no matter if it's mud, tape, or whatever. Uh, this Freeman brand, they're fine, it's just a little bit smaller than the medium Sheetrock brand. And the Sheetrock brand uh, texture is, is very available. You can get it at most of the home improvement stores. This here is more of an item that you need to get from a, a distributor dry, of drywall products. This is the hopper gun. It's old school. I've used it a lot. It's, it's my good friend, so I just go ahead and continue using it. There's new ones out there. You can get them for 100 bucks. It's, it works just as good. And here's your texture. When you mix your texture up, you want it to be mixed about the consistency of, of a thick pancake batter. Now, if it's too thick, it will not come through your hopper gun very well. That's how you can determine the thickness. If it flows through your hopper gun too fast, it'll drip on the ceiling. And you don't want it to drip on the ceiling. It'll, it, it won't look right. So what you're looking for is the consistency of, a, of pancake batter. This here actually could use a little bit of water in it to thin it out just a little bit so it flows through the, through the gun. And this here for mixing, it's just a paddle mixer. I've used several different types. I've tried not using any, just using a stick. You really need to get mud mixed very, very well. Let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes and then get then get your consistency again before you use it because it changes consistency as it absorbs water. So what you want to try to do is get, get your consistency right, let it sit for 10 minutes or so, then you'll have to add water again and mix it. But what you really want to do is mix it with a paddle, a paddle mixer. I've tried using paint mixers and stuff, but they just don't work like this particular mixer. You can put this on a cordless drill. You don't have to mix it forever, so a cordless drill should have enough power to, to, to mix it. But these seem to work really well. Now it's time to start with spraying some texture. Okay, now this is the exact same shot of that area after I've textured it. Now there's a little bit different color because the texture is drying a little bit faster than where I put the mud. But once this is all dried out, you will never be able to tell that there was a little bit of problem right there. And then this is what a textured ceiling should end up looking like. And that's how I texture a ceiling. Uh, I got a lot of videos on YouTube, Wichita Fix It channel. Go to my website, wichitafixit.com. Thanks for watching and good luck on your home improvement.